Hey guys, and welcome to, guess what? Thrifty Tuesday. Thrifty Tuesday. That is something that I am starting for 2024. Every Tuesday we'll be doing something where either we saved money on, we got a good deal on, we're out looking at things maybe at the Goodwill or basically anywhere, even the dollar store or the 125 store <laughs> is what it is now. You know, because five and below is no longer five and below, it's five and up. But they have yet to have changed the name of that also. Anyway, let's look at what we have for today. All right, so today on Thrifty Tuesday, our first one, we're gonna do some dollar store things that we found as well as I had did an order for Timu and I think this is like my second order that I've done for Timu where I've gotten a couple of garden things from it. The first one I did a little bit earlier not earlier probably about a couple of months ago um, just to try it out some people told me about it I wanted to see if the things seemed like they were extremely cheap or you know what it really was so we'll talk about that so one of the things that I got from the dollars 25 cent store are these seed starter pots so those of you who like to start your seeds and these here you can get them from the dollar store okay um, 10 comes in here and you add a little bit of soil in pop your seed in and you're good to go the other thing you could get from the dollar store is cocoa core now this expands and it says that it expands 10 times this size you just add water i've used these all throughout the year when i wanted to mix uh, my soil and some coca core mixed in as you know doing my own soil mixture or garden soil mixture pot and soil mixture i've taken these expanded them and then added soil in them as well as perlite until i got the consistency that i'd like to have you can also use these for your house plants like if you have alocasias and you want to um start the corums you can want um get this widened up and take a little bit of it if you don't have moss or something like that and you can put that in there dollar 25 a piece the other thing i got from the dollar store now i have not this particular one but i've gotten some from the dollar store in the past i have one that i keep in my house and i have one that i keep in my um greenhouse one inside the greenhouse and one on the outside of the greenhouse and this is a metal thermometer and these come in handy i like to know the difference in the temperature in my greenhouse from the temperature outside now of course you have digital ones but these are for those who don't want to pay the price of a digital one and don't mind just sitting there and reading it okay or you don't want to plug it in or put batteries in something it's already there so thermometers are good and of course i got another set of gloves now i use gloves of all sort I use inexpensive gloves as well as I use some that probably cost a little bit more. It just depends on what I got my hands on that day. If it's cold outside, I may use some that I paid more for. But for those of us who are being thrifty, here you go. You can get gloves as well from the dollar store. Now, <laughs> the other thing that's quite funny, one of my Christmas gifts this is what my daughter made me oh my gosh just the fact that she knows her mother and she knows what to give her mother for christmas she and her dad got together but he says that she did all the work and these i think came from the dollar store of course um you have a piece of wood here that did not come from the dollar store she painted it and look she made her mom a planter i love it i was actually really really shocked because when she said she wanted to make me something, I was a little scared as to what it was going to be. Granted, I would have accepted, accepted whatever it was. Now, what I got from Timu, I probably won't be using anytime soon. And the reason is because I wanted to try out hydroponics on a budget. 
And so I got 50 of these hydroponic little pots. And I'll pop the price of how much 50 was that I received up on the screen. Oop. Okay, I dropped that one. <laughs> We're not going to go get it right now. So this is what it looks like. And like I said, it's 50 that came in there. And I'll put the price up on the screen. I also got the little rocks that go in there with it too. And I was really worried about what the size of this was going to be. It's a pound... It's one pound of these um, little bitty rocks. I haven't opened it just yet, and I don't want to because I'm not going to use it anytime soon. But you use them for hydroponics. I did not pay a lot for these. I want to say my whole order that I got was around 20 bucks. I'm not ordering anything over $20, especially when it's inexpensive like that. So I know I got these. I got those. I also got this right here, and I saw this on another channel I cannot think of her name right now but I'll pop the channel out I don't I'm pretty sure she probably did not get hers from Timu but you put this on your finger here this goes on your thumb and when you're cutting your vegetables or like peas or tomatoes or things like that off the vine guess what you have a little shop point here this is so you don't cut yourself and it came with four of them and you just bring your fingers together in between the um the vine and you're able to get your tomatoes your beans your um what are those cucumbers all those little peppers you're able to get them off really really easy so i got two of these and i believe that these were like eight it was 80 something cent um for one and i just decided to get two because i felt like i'm the type of person i don't always put things back where i should and i already know i'm gonna set it down somewhere i can't remember where i set it so i need two of them okay so those were the items that i got now i did get I did get another item here, which is not for me, it's for my mom. She does embroidery. And you know, I got this for her so when she's using the embroidery needle, it makes it easier. It's not extremely heavy metal. You can open the back up to adjust it to your finger. Yeah, it's not garden related, <laughs> but this I got two of these um, for her as well. And you know why I got two? In case she loses one. So she'll be excited to see that I got that for her. That's part of what she got for Christmas. So that's the beginning of our Thrifty Tuesday. <laughs> and I'm really excited about it because there'll be other things that we'll do. Some of the videos may come as shorts and some of the videos may come as long videos. But that was today's Thrifty Tuesday just to get us warmed up to it and opened up to what all we'll be doing and what all be going on. I will not be sitting down all the time. Today, yes, I'm sitting down, but I won't normally be sitting down. So this video is kind of two parts. It's a short that I'll put out or that's probably already out that I popped out early, 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 early this morning. And then I have this video, which you guys are looking at now and which is a little bit longer so the first video shows me in the dollar store and looking at all the things that are out so look it is january it is january it is the second day of january if you're someone who are look who is gardening on a budget you may want to go ahead and start looking at the things that you want to get now. The dollar store already is putting their things out. I'm pretty sure places like Family Dollar are already putting their things out because they have Valentine's Day and Easter items that are out as well. So of course, if you have Easter items out, that's in the spring, you're going to have your garden things out as well. So next week on Thrifty Tuesday, I'll be showing you some things that I got from the dollar store and how we're able to pot it up okay and I'll list some things that the dollar store has that 
I can pick up so you can see how you can actually garden on a budget. Whether you're in an apartment, whether you're in a townhouse or a house and you just don't feel like using a lot of money, how you can garden on a budget. Your budget may consist of things from the $1.25 store or maybe Timu or even um, stores like Aldi, Lidl, Walmart, places like that where you can get planters and different things of that nature or pots. You know, you can get things, you want to garden in a pot. You want to be able to have um, either a flower in your house grow or you may want to be able to have um, vegetables growing and you may want to grow them in your house. So like I said, I did pick up some hydroponic um, items because I'm looking at how we can do hydroponics on a budget. And hopefully it'll work out well. The only thing that will probably be a little bit pricey, which would be the solution that you use for your hydroponics. And so that's the only thing that I need to look up now, um, whether buying it locally or being able to get it offline. So I'll let you know on the next one. I wanna say happy new year to you all and happy gardening.